No real surprise with uh, NVIDIA and their numbers. Um, you know, sometimes uh, markets will swing in very, very violent directions based upon a statement, a word or two that, that's put out in, in a transcript. And that's there's always a risk uh, of that. Um, we saw that uh, recently with Lyft and how a uh, number was, was a typo there and sent the stock through the roof, came back down. A anyway, NVIDIA... Uh, all the companies that they do business with that they're selling to have already told you that they're spending more money on their chips. Um, these companies are all in on AI. Um, we talked about layoffs and essentially that's what's happening. Um, th th that transition is being made. People are being replaced with computers. Many jobs that, uh, you know, like again, for, I use Google as um, an example. Um, they're advertisers, people placing ads and whatnot in various different websites and how to go about doing a lot, a lot of things that were driven by human beings are going to be driven by AI. That's that's just the reality of what's going on. And this is this is nothing new. Um, people, you know, worry about it's you know the end of the world. You know, as far as uh, jobs are concerned, jobs will pop up, jobs will change. I take a look at my industry and the staff that was necessary back in the 1990s to do what I do for a living compared to today. And it's just, it's different. Um, just is, uh, you know, you don't have the massive support staff and the, the myriad of sales assistants and all of the things and the runners and all of this stuff that was existent back then. They don't exist anymore. It's gone. It's gone. You know, the businesses change. And all of these companies let you know that that's what they're doing. That's what's happening at this point in time. So there's no surprise as far as NVIDIA is concerned. And uh, you take a look at the markets and how they're going to react to that today. Also no surprise when it comes to EVs. Um, Rivian came out. They're cutting their workforce by 10%. Uh, their production levels widely uh, missed uh, estimates, um, also as well, uh, lucid. Um, I'll remind everybody, this was one of these disruptor companies not too long ago. The overall market valuation of Rivian was greater than Ford, Stellantis, and GM combined. Combined. A and you would actually have Wizards of Smart pundits come on TV and justify this ridiculous uh, valuation. Um, the uh, chief executive here, the RJ Scringe, we firmly believe in the full electrification of the automo automotive industry. You can believe that, dude, you, just like people can believe that the earth is flat. You keep believing, okay? Um, not happening, buddy. It, it's not happening. A and you make a pretty freaking expensive vehicle. Hey, go online. I mean, it, it, it is, it, you know, it's a neat car. There's no doubt about it. Very nice. But it's a luxury item that you're losing money on. You know, every single one of these things that you sell, you're losing money on. And I, I, would, I actually did a little homework myself. Um, went to some model I could get quickly. And I was curious um, curious to see, uh, uh, you know, what it would cost just to lease it for three years, 10,000 miles a year. This is a, uh, over a $70,000 car. Uh, you're putting 7,000 bucks down and the lease is 550 bucks a month. And I'm like, wait a second. So I, I subtracted, I subtracted the down payment, came to 64 thousand and then you extrapolate you know the monthly payment over 30 months 20 some and i'm like wait a second you, you mean to tell me that this car is going to only depreciate in three years it's an electric vehicle by 30 grand I, I, I'm, I'm sorry it's absurd basically that they're, they're giving these crazy leases out just like ford is giving out these insane leases insanely cheap leases that make no economic sense and if you're trying to make money if you're trying to be profitable um to get these things out the door they need to move cars. Whereas you move over to Lucid, another high, super high end EV where they're losing money on every single one of them. 
Um, they don't even bother leasing those cars. They're not going to even try. Um, I get that the, the loss that they're going to end up taking. A- anyway, not, neither here nor there. Um, again, you, you see the divergence in, in what works and what doesn't work. Um, and, and again, it, it, all the fantasies and, and all of the nonsense and all the crap that is supported by government or push by government will inevitably fail. Now you can say NVIDIA is a chip company. Okay. Chips act. Uh, all of these chips companies, all companies are all the same. You know, they'll gladly put their hand out and say, you're going to give me money. I'm not going to say no to it. I'm not going to say no to it. And we've already talked about this podcast this past week with uh, Biden's Chips Ahoy. Um, they want to cancel a plant. They cancel a plant. No skin off their back. Watchdog on Wall Street. Dot com.